Dave, Dave, we're recording. Oh dear. Oh, sorry about that. I was just praying and um, and I must have fallen asleep. You know, we all struggle to pray. I struggle to uh, stay awake sometimes praying. So I thought I'd just give you three reasons to pray. First reason is we pray because we can. God is a holy God. He uh, is not going to allow sinful people like you and me to just waltz into his presence. But he sent Jesus to die on the cross so that we could be forgiven for our sins. And so one of the reasons we pray is because we can. God has forgiven us our sins and he invites us into his presence so we can pray to him. What a privilege it is. So first reason why we can pray, why we pray, is because we can. The second reason to pray is because we can't. Now that sounds opposite to what I've just said, but if you think about it, we, we are wretched sinners. Isaiah 64 says, Even our righteous deeds are like filthy rags to God. So we can't do anything good. We can't do any uh, good works without God working in us. We can't do any kingdom work. We can't make a non-Christian listen to us and understand the gospel. Uh, we, we can't do any acts of obedience without God uh, working so the second reason why we pray is because we can't do anything, absolutely anything, good deeds or kingdom work without God working in people's lives and in and through us. We also pray because we care. We pray for our Christian brothers and sisters because we actually care about them. We pray for our church and the members in our, in our say, uh, home Bible study group because we care about these people. I pray for the persecuted church because I care for their desperate situation. And we pray for the lost world because we care for them. And I reckon therein lies part of the problem. Why do we struggle with prayer so much? Sometimes we struggle with prayer because we just don't care.